Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we have uh, Dr. Abdul Samad with us, and uh, for a wonderful success that he had in his knee tests, uh, he's got a national uh, Pan India score of 42, which is a fantastic score, and he should be able to get whatever branch, that cardiology branch seat, wherever he wants in India. So that's something uh, wonderful. Congratulations, uh, Dr. Abdul. Welcome uh, with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So uh, I understand this was your uh, third attempt and uh, you were working in COVID hours in COVID duties previously as an SR and then as an assistant professor. So that must have been really tough being uh, working in COVID hours and still preparing for cardiology. So let me hear to you firstly, how was your preparation and what is your preparation strategy from your experience that our future students should adopt? Actually, because of uh, last year, because of COVID and all, we had hectic, hectic duties, sir. So I couldn't focus much on studies. Hardly I can read 50% of Harrison. I did not even touch Brown World last time. So after that, I decided this year I have to get. So then I started from Harrison. I studied, I completed Harrison twice, like cardiology part, not whole medicine, only cardiology part. Then I started Brown World. Actually, I had no clue what to read, sir, in the beginning. So I thought, aiming for cardiology. So at the same time, I wanted to give central institute attempts also. So I thought I should read Brownwald. <laughs> I went through page to page. So actually I resigned my job and started reading Brownwald and preparing for uh, cardiology. This time I wanted at any cost. So I read three to four times. The thing was, uh, after I gave INA, I did not qualify, sir. Actually I qualified last PG Chandigarh. But this time, that time I did not even read half Brownwald also. But after reading three to four times, I felt this time I did not qualify. Then I thought something is wrong. Then uh, I changed my strategy. Then I started uh, reading high yield topics, uh, revising again and again. Then uh, giving mocks, mock tests, sir. especially to tell. Actually, I have given your two All India mock tests, sir. Like uh, two mock tests are conducted before that one. Is, before yes, one. which we conducted. So, yeah. They were actually wonderful. Actually, they have given me a hope that uh, I will get some mm -hmm. rank like below 100. I was expecting. Because in the first also, I got some around 8th rank, sir. Uh, in the second uh, grand test, I got around 6th rank. So, the, all questions were like from high yield topics. All were conceptual, not like uh, uh, this one, straightforward. And the most uh, relevant for uh, MCQ cardiology entrance. And updated included guidelines also, like latest uh, ESC, ASC guidelines, HA guidelines and all. So, that was actually very helpful. So, then finally, I changed to high yield topics, revision and giving mock tests, sir. Yeah, so I think this is very important that what Dr. Abdul Samad is telling us, and that's what we are also focusing on. We always say this, that you need to identify high yield topics. What do you mean by high yield is the patient, the number of pages and number of time or hours that you spend on a topic and what proportion of questions you may get. For example, ACS and acute coronary is a very important topic, but it's not a high yield topic because you have to read 400 pages from the world and you'll end up getting 10 questions. But compare this with, say, with... Um, say cardiac tumors, you read just 20 pages and you get two questions. So I think that's a very important message that Dr. Abdul Samad is trying to say, and that's what we've been always trying to focus. And second thing, what he has brought us uh, to, uh, again, importance is that you need to have understanding of the concept rather than cramming of the numbers. I always give this example of isomerism. And again, as I was expecting that Abdul Samad was doing fantastic in the grand test, so at least, I mean, every candidate that I've seen who's done well in grand test actually has qualified with a good mark and good yes. rank. So that's that goes on to reflect that uh, you it gives you idea where you stand. And that's the kind of category of questions that also we tend to frame up uh, at Dr. Tutorials. Okay, so it will be interesting to know from you, uh, Dr. Abdul, how was your strategy different when you were preparing for the previous two attempts versus this attempt? in terms of attempting questions and also preparing for the question banks. Was it different or it was same on that front except changing the books? Uh, actually, this time I gave more times. I was very serious. This attempt I decided to get into. So I have given before attempts like with the duties and all 9 to 4, 9 to 5 with night duties. I couldn't give much time, sir. Like hardly I used to read 3 to 4 hours. So this time I actually have given full time, sir. Like... Uh, full time, like sometimes 10 hours, sometimes 14 hours also I've decided. Then uh, I went through high yield topics, sir, which you have shared in your uh, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp group. 
just before exams i used to revise like uh, frequently am i missing any high yield topic and all then i used to revise that and uh, i used to give more mock tests at this time so actually i believe in mock tests sir because uh, that will tell test will tell you where we stand all india or even topic wise test grand test so what mistakes we are doing how silly mistakes what silly mistakes we are doing so i used to correct those mistakes and uh, i used to keep revising sir like more revisions kare do i leave few topics but whatever i have read i used to revise it so that uh, and high yield particularly high yield topics so in the beginning i have done mistake like by reading whole brown world but uh, i think we should not go by textbook for entrance definitely we should choose some high yield topics revise with consistency and give mock tests that will definitely give us success sir that's what i felt this time absolutely absolutely this is the crux of the preparation method because what is expected of you is the basics of brunwald and some important topics at the time of entrance what whole brunwald you are supposed to know when you exit the dm so that's the right strategy and i think our elite test series were so popular that on public demand we had to do second grand test we did only one and then people wanted one more and then we did second grand test and it was the most highest subscribed test series and this year also like we are doing neat and as ss preparation again the c test series is over subscribed i mean i have already started preparing questions for the preparation already in couple of uh, subjects that we have done cardiology now this it's last year we did 30 30 questions each this time we have doing 60 60 we want more questions to be brought into your focus right now what was your strategy of attempting questions because this time people were complaining the paper was very lengthy so were were you you know able to find time to come back to the questions that you left or were you just going through shuffling through them how were you attempting those questions and did you get a second look time could you look at the question second time back or you had to go the first go as the best go actually sir paper was really lengthy we we didn't have much time to review again not even once and not even 50% of questions so what i used to do uh, like usually in mock test i used to uh, finish by like uh, with half an hour before or at least sometimes 40 to 40 minutes before but this time truly speaking sir had some for uh, medicine part had 3 uh, minutes left sir only 3 or 2 minutes left so what i was doing uh, i decided before going for exam like uh, first i will do all one liners I, i don't want to spend time which are lengthy questions first i will do one liners like i can complete that in half a minute or some 15 seconds so i will finish that then i'll come back to lengthy questions so that i can save i can spend time there rather than spending one one and a half minute at the lengthy questions at the beginning so i first i, I just went through single single some one liners then small questions and all then i came back and finished all lengthy questions sir but uh, truly ha- had uh, no time basically some one and a half two minutes maximum 2 minutes i had sir right i i think everybody has completed the same i think that's one of the strategies that you did you did the shorter ones first and the lengthy one like we used to do in 12 standard do one markers first and do the five markers in the end so one of that strategy probably you could do but then everybody was surprised because paper came in a very different fashion but i think yes, that's the way forward people will get more of clinical lengthy questions in times to come and i think that's the paper strategy that's how it should be and that's that's a better way actually the test should be there should not be cramming of numbers it should be more of clinical assessment of the case and then uh, coming to a, a conclusion so uh, tell me how was um, what do you recommend and how was your experience with doc tutorial interaction both in the whatsapp group and the question series and what's your uh, recommendation for the uh, pre batches that are preparing for the next year the questions were very good sir actually that uh, grand test questions and uh, late series questions were very good actually like they were more relevant for entrance exam like cardiology entrance uh, selected from high yield topics and uh, conceptual sir not like uh, some as you said numbers and all conceptual and uh, uh, updated like guidelines uh, what i said updated so definitely it suits for uh, any medical entrance sir one, one thing and the second is uh, uh, for next preparation like pattern has changed completely so they have to more focus on this one harrison based sir but uh, harrison is two volume no one can read like even we have read in md medicine but still to recollect everything like on mcq basis it's very difficult so we have to go by high yield topics and uh, revise again and again and give mock tests that will definitely help sir so as pattern has changed but for ina i think again 
cardiology will be helpful reading cardiology uh, from uh, heal topics from brown world and uh, that will be helpful for ina said sir for uh, harrison now for uh, neat ss only harrison based so selecting high yield topics giving mock tech mock test will definitely help one thing i have noticed is consistency is very important sir absolutely like, constant efforts and continuous efforts is very important and uh, revising again and again and giving mock test correcting our mistakes so that will definitely help sir and uh, we should not worry about whatever rank we get in mock test that is that is that is practice sir. <laughs> that is usually our practice we do mistakes we do mistakes in uh, this one sir mock test but uh, we should not worry we keep going forward correct our mistake yeah. keep going forward definitely yeah. that yeah i think i think you fantastically elucidated what is required in preparation not to get disheartened by the mock test marks but you should keep attempting and that's what we have done even for the new pattern this time i have uh, the elite series that we have created at least in cardiology i can say my all 60 questions are from harrison but they are the questions that you will not find in any question bank i have prepared from my opening up my harrison's textbook and dug out mcqs in a fashion that it covers a topic so all questions are fresh questions uh, there is no point if i was to give you a, a question bank and then you know not work upon them myself i don't think i ever be able to give you more than what is required is already available in the market so uh, even harrison as you said is so extensive that you can always come up with you know a completely new set of questions even if you have done a question bank of 30000 questions so uh, absolutely correct you need to be very thorough and i think that's what we are also focusing so any closing remarks dr abdul samad uh, before we close there are uh, like uh, actually to tell sir one thing when i have given that uh, mock test so i have done a very silly mistakes sir so many times we read but uh, still we do mistakes sir. that's how revision will help i found Okay. In that question, I'll accept in Hocum HOCM. I did that HOCM. I have done. I have read some five to six times, sir. Not from Harrison, from Brownwell. Straight away from. I read five to six times, but still I made that question like uh, syncope due to exertion. That syncope option was there. Syncope due to exertion. I marked that one. It is actually wrong. Syn unexplained syncope. So that man I have read, but still I made a mistake. That high yield question, the tricky way of asking. That yeah. Had this, yeah. The double and, negative. Uh, all of them are false except you know. all of them are to mix it so so i think that's why i usually say that you must read the question twice and the options also twice you may not find time to come back and revise them but at least the first reading should be a twice attempting uh, technique and strategy uh, thank you very much dr abdul samad for joining us thank you uh, it's always a pleasure having you we will always be connected you can trust us uh, that even if you do and go wherever in your life even 10 years down the line and if there is anything that i can be of help to you and myself and dr tutorials it will always be our pleasure i wish you all the best that you get best of the seats that you want and uh, it will it was always pleasure having you thank you and congratulations again enjoy your success in basket the glory of the same thank you sir and uh, i want to tell thanks to my family my parents all that i am and hope to be tomorrow so all because of my parents sir i owe my success to them and my brothers who always supported me they were always there for me sir and my wife actually who motivated me who pushed me one my love where i was actually then she motivated me she supported she helped a lot all my friends right from mbbs uh, then md and now while preparation also i had so many good friends sir uh, i am thankful i am very very thankful to all those uh, who helped me where i am today and to dr tutorials definitely and thank you so much sir thank you thank you abdul thank you take care bye bye